In this lesson, I'd like to show you how to initiate a shared review in Acrobat. Shared reviews are the most collaborative form of review because participants can read and reply to the comments of other participants. Comments from participants are stored in a repository on an internal server or folder. Acrobat synchronizes comments at regular intervals to download all the latest changes. Reviewers are notified of new comments as they are added and they can see and reply to comments made by other users. We start this process by going out to your tools pane and clicking on send for comment. In the send for comment toolbar you want to choose send for shared commenting. At the top you want to click the drop down arrow and choose automatically collect comments on my own internal server. This will start a brand new share on a server for Acrobat. You might have existing shares inside of Acrobat that you can use, existing repositories, but we want a brand new one, so I'll click on this guy and I'll click on Next. Next, I'll go out and browse for my network share. Once I've located my share, I can click on Next. We are going to have Acrobat automatically distribute this and we're going to send this as an attachment to an email message. I'll click on Next and you can provide a name for the server pro profile or share that you're going to create. These were the list of current shares that we saw in the drop-down in a previous window. I'm going to go ahead and highlight this and just type in a new share name. I will call this a WeBunny share. To say that it's a share name is not quite right. It's really just a profile name that you're going to use internally with an Acrobat. Um, it has nothing to do with the share name actually that you're calling the server. Once you have this configured you can just say next and now you can add an email or a set of emails where we will distribute my file. I'll type in one user email here. I could add carbon copies of other emails if I'd like. I could also change the subject or change the message, but the message is kind of nice. It describes or tells the user exactly what they're supposed to do to get involved with this collaborative uh, review process. I'm just going to go ahead and click on send, and Acrobat goes out and sends. Adobe's asking me if I, I would like to view and manage the email with my Google Mail, and yes, I'm going to go ahead and do that since I'm sending this message via uh, Google to a Gmail user. So I'll click on Allow. Now you might get this message saying invitations uh, have been set up. If you're using something like Outlook uh, perhaps it doesn't send these right away. It'll put them in the outbox and you'll have to do them manually. So it's just you don't have to show this again, but it's just a little message reminding you that it may not be sent if you're using some program that you have to go in, like Outlook Client, you'd have to go in and actually send those out of the outbox. I'll click OK. And now we see that my review process is ready on my end. The original file that I had open was called Executive Summary. That file has been put away and a new file has been put in its place called Executive Summary Review and that's the file we're looking at here. In addition, all of my email contacts or my people, my users I'm going to collaborate with that I've sent the message to, they have this same copy of this file has been sent to them in their email attachments and this is the file that they'll go ahead and double click to open up and use inside of, inside of Acrobat. And then all of these documents are kept in a hidden document on the share and as people go in and make their commenting and their markup all of that will be sent to this centralized hidden file in that share that we had set up earlier and this is why everybody can see everybody else's comment because there's one hidden file there's one hidden executive summary that everybody will use but I get a copy my copy is exactly the same as the other users and we can all add comments and markup at the same time. If I'd like I can check for new comments at any time. I see that there are no comments here. I could also come out and I could click the drop down arrow on this button here and I could uh, choose to track reviews and out here it'll show me 
the executive summary review and down here I can see a list of my users out here and I see that there has not been any comments on the initiator and there are others out here that are uh, required waiting for require them to open and start adding their own markup. If I look up here at the top I can add reviewers to this process. If I decide I can email reviewers on the fly with some other extra message I could start a whole new review process um, and it gives me the same reviewers that I have on my list with a whole new document if I want just so I don't have to re-enter these users. Uh, when I'm finished I can end the review. If I'd like I can change the deadline on this review. Currently I'm it looks like I'm almost a month out. I'm going to go ahead and uh, change this to uh, something a little earlier. I'll just set this for like three days out from my current day and I'll click OK. Another place you can get to that tracking dialog box is up under the view menu. You can choose tracker and it brings up that same dialog we saw just a moment ago. I'm going to go ahead and just close down my document. I'm going to close down my commenting toolbar and up here at the top under executive summary review I'm going to click the button here and you can see it. it's up here at the top. It's been saved. Here is WeBunny's Google and I can see the message that was sent from me a moment ago. I'm going to go ahead and click on the message and here's the invitation. It says you are invited to review the document executive summary review you can use Adobe Acrobat 10 or Adobe Acrobat Reader, so on and so forth. And it says just click the attachment to open it in Acrobat DC. Well, because it's Adobe, it's got its own little PDF viewer. So what I'm going to have to do is download this thing. So I'm going to click the download button. And when the file downloads, I'm going to go ahead and just open it up in my folder, my download folder. And I'm going to click on this thing and drag it out to my desktop. So I'm going to click here and drag out to my desktop. And once the file has been moved, I can go ahead and just close down this folder. So all the information about the shared review is kept inside of this file. You can see it's called Executive Summary Review, same as the file that I was using a moment ago. I'm just going to go ahead and double click on this. And it comes back and says, please click Connect to join the shared review of Executive Summary Review. I'll go ahead and click on Connect and it comes up and gives me the welcome screen tells me that there hasn't been any comments yet I'm gonna go ahead and just click OK and now I'm ready to go ahead and add some markup I can check for new comments see if there's any new comments and there hasn't been any so I'll come up to the balloon I'll click once add a note I'll say make font larger and bold Maybe here I'll highlight this and just go ahead and strike through saying that I have to delete it. So I've made a couple of markups here. You can see them over on the right hand side as, as I've made them as well. I'm going to go ahead and publish my comments and what this does is it pushes it from my file out to that invisible copy of this file that everybody is using um, to pull the current comments out of. So publish my comments it tells me that my two comments ha have been published and are ready to be looked at by other users. After I close my document, open it back up, back in my original initiator window here, uh, I will see this. It says, Welcome back to the Executive Summary Review. I can come out here and I can see that a wee bunny has made two comments and I haven't made any comments yet. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK and here I am and I can see the two comments back in my document. Now I can come out and click on one of these if I'd like and see what the message was and I can reply to it if I'd like. I'm going to go ahead and reply. I'll just say good idea and then down here on the other one which was the strike through I could see it here I can also add a reply and I'll just say how about almost so now I want to send these back so everybody can see my commentary I will have to go out and say publish comments and it goes out to the server and pushes my two comments back out to the server and now everybody 
who's has the document open at any time can go back and say check for new comments and they would see these new comments that I have made of course at any time I can come out here and I can track and review the document and I can see that I've made two comments and there's been a total of two comments by a wee bunny as well I'm gonna go ahead and close my document save changes ask me where to put this I set it on the desktop I'm gonna go back out there and just put it right back on the desktop and overwrite the one I had out there back on a wee bunny's computer when a wee bunny double clicks the file to open it up they'll get the welcome back screen just like we saw a moment ago for our initiator I'll go ahead and click OK and now when I come back out I can see that a wee bunny can see the commentary that I've made out here as well so it just goes back and forth like this for all the users that you have you have all kinds of filtering tools out here so if you had say uh, eight or nine or ten users all collaborating on this document you could come back and filter these by the date by the given author so you can only see a particular author or a set of authors if you'd like um, you could come back out and maybe by the reviewer um, there's uh, a type you maybe you only want to see the sticky notes or anything that's crossed out you can also check to only view um, commentary that's been unread so lots of ways to um, filter this out you can also sort as well if you'd like I'm gonna go ahead and close down Acrobat it's gonna ask if I want to save changes and I'll just say yes this is the shared folder that I had set up initially when I had set up this whole um, shared review process and if I take a look inside here's the name of that file that we've been using out here it has a um, fairly long name it's executive summary with this long name anyway you would never open this by yourself this is just the one that was hidden and that all the users are are using to share their commentary so this is the shared folder and that's the file that would live inside of it here's my executive summary review that I just kept on the desktop here back in my original document here the original initiator I'm gonna come out and under track reviews I'm gonna take a look at all the different track reviews I have it looks like I have only one over here and I see my two users I see the two comments total here if I would like I could come back out here and under executive summary review I could go ahead and click on that and then come out and click on the trash can and it'll warn me that you're about to remove executive summary review from the track or removing this review file will permanently end the review and users will no longer be able to make comments I'm gonna go ahead and say yes and it removes this file now not only does it remove it um, it doesn't remove it on my computer but it removes it from that hidden share folder that I talked about before so there's no connection between all the different shared reviews files that we've been sharing commentary on um, there's another way you could bring all these in if everybody were to email me these files I could bring them in and um, consolidate all of these um, together into um, my file if I'd like and I'll show that in another video but right now as it stands I just have my original executive summary and I also have this guy here which is executive summary review which has all the markup inside of it. if I don't want to see this commentary anymore I could come out and just click the close button for that tool I still see the markup out here now just as kind of a side note if I wanted to get rid of this markup on this file for whatever reason I could come out to my redact tool in my tools area and under this area I could come out and if I were to close the file and open it back up I could say remove hidden information and it gives me this list of all the different information that it found and one of these is the comments um, if I would like I could go ahead and just uncheck all of these except for the comments and annotations let's open that up a little bit so you can see that comments and markup there's four items on this document um, I could go out and try to uncheck digital signature but it says that it's gotta take out the digital signature for some reason when I do this so if you're not having a problem with that you could go ahead and um, just choose remove and click OK 
and it'll take out the digital, digital signatures and it will also take out uh, that markup that was included in the document as well.